Hi, Brian. I, I know obviously you're tired of the topic and you've said two is our quarterback. That being said, just had one simple question. Obviously, you know what's going on talking to uh, Chris and to Steve Ross. So the question is this. Is there any possibility that you guys will acquire a starting caliber quarterback within the next 26 hours before the trade deadline tomorrow? Uh, Barry, I understand the question. Um, I basically answer it every day, same way. Two is our quarterback. Um, you know, any conversations that, you know, uh, I have with Chris, I have with Steve, you know, I, we keep them internal and, you know, it'll remain that way. Okay, and then one unrelated thing. Several readers reached out to writers yesterday saying it appeared as though you were calling the defensive plays and not Josh Boyer based on uh, the papers you had in your hands. Were you calling the defensive signals yesterday or was Josh? No, Josh called the game. Thank you. David Lang, WPLG. Hey, Coach Flo. Um, with the deadline coming up in a day, you're obviously focused on the next game, trying to end this losing streak. But do you talk to the team telling them to avoid it? Or is it just something that sort of is natural within a locker room? How do they deal or how do you tell them to deal with the next 24 hours? Um, I mean, really, today's, today's conversation was about you know, the game yesterday. Um, and really, the focus was there. And corrections from there, from the game yesterday, some obviously mistakes we made, things we did well, uh, things we can build on. Um, didn't really get into any deadlines or anything that, like that. Um, like, I mean, my job is to be focused on the guys in our room. Um, and that's, that's, that's the approach I take. Omar? I wanted to ask you about the offense's passing game. Uh, you guys attempt more passes than everybody but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and you're second to last in yards per attempt. Um, is this a byproduct of just the situations that you're in, in terms of you guys trailing so often, or do you view yourself as a pass first team? Uh, you always want balance, Omar. I mean, it's something that, that we've talked about. Uh, we wouldn't, we haven't been able to create the balance that we want for a variety of reasons. Um, certainly something we put an emphasis on, something we talk about. Uh, some of the games have, uh, you know, score has dictated some of that. Um, you know, as we've talked about, you always want balance. I mean, I thought there were some instances, especially early, where we got some positive runs and we just weren't able to sustain it or – um, stay with it. You know, it's probably a better term. Um, and, you know, it's definitely something we talked about as a staff today. You know, um, something that we've, we've talked about in weeks and recent, recent, really every week. Um, we need to do a better job of that in the second half of the season. Cam? Flo, you mentioned after the game that you kind of just sat there for a while. I'm curious how you've, um, maybe thought and kind of compartmentalize the last seven games and kind of losing, not going the way you want it to go? Um, it was disappointing. I think our guys work hard. Um, our coaches work hard. Um, I think about the people around the building. I think about our fan base. Um, and, we, you know, I want to do better for all those people. Uh, I know the team does. So, you know, those are the thoughts that go through my mind. Um, and I just think about what I can do to, uh, you know, get us over the hump, turn the tide. Um, is it a scheduling thing? Is it a, a you know, play calling? Do we got to switch a guy's position? Like, what do we got to do? Uh, so that's kind of where my, my thoughts are. And yeah, but, you know, disappointing, uh, but at the same time, um, you know, I, I you know, I'm motivated to get back out there and make the improvements, make the corrections, and um, and turn it around. I know if I can follow up there. I know you're a one day at a time guy. Um, do you allow yourself to ever think big picture, look backwards on maybe what's going on this year or the first two and a half years in your tenure, and try to use any of that to move forward? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to look back and reflect on some other experiences that are similar. Um, but every year is so different. Every team is so different. The, the players are different. The year is different. The time, I mean, everything's so different. Um, and to reflect on, you know, maybe a, an instance where uh, there was, uh, you know, this type of adversity, um, you think back on it, but you think about, you know, some of the, 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 the people I was around and, and you know, those people, those players, um, some of them are different, some of them are the same. Um, and then you just try to think about the group you have now and what's the best way to motivate the group we have now uh, to turn the tide. Alan. Uh, hi, Brian. Can you confirm whether Preston Williams and Sheldrick Redwine will be back at practice this week? Uh, yeah, they'll be at uh, they'll be at practice Wednesday. Thank you. Omar. You said you mentioned that you, you pull from some of the adversity that you guys faced, uh, you faced particularly previously. Are you going back to the 2019 season or are you going back to maybe Boston College, your Patriots tenure? Uh, I mean, I think adversity comes in a lot of different ways, Omar. Um, it's not necessarily just football. Um, as you know, it's, you know, I could be pulling from a lot of things uh, that I've, I've dealt with personally. And um, I mean, that's normally what I do uh, from a football standpoint, obviously, yes, you know, probably the 19th season. Uh, but as far as just, you know, getting knocked down, get, picking yourself back up. I mean, there's, there's definitely been some other instances um, that we all, that we all pull from. When we're, when we're dealing with adversity, this isn't as hard as this. This isn't as um, I picked myself up from this situation, that from the situation. I know the players have dealt with that. I know all each one of you has, has dealt with that in some form or fashion. And um, I don't think it's just, you know, a specific season. And if I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead, finish. No, I was, yeah, that, that, I think, I'm not sure if that answers your question. But. It, it does answer my question. Um, I, I wanted to ask, you know, you guys keep talking about, um, I guess, the tide needs to start rolling from a positive standpoint um, and, and cleaning up a lot of mistakes. How close do you feel that you guys are based on your last performance? You know, I think we did, you know, some good things yesterday. Um, you know, it's a good team. I thought we played them tough. I thought we played hard for 60 minutes. I thought there was certainly some missed opportunities, you know, on our part to, uh, you know, score some points that, you know, we, we, we would have liked to have later in the game. Obviously, uh, there was, you know, some opportunities to, 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 to make some plays and we didn't make them. Um, so from that standpoint, um, I do see some things we can build on, but you know, every week's different. You know, every opponent's different. Every week's different. So we got to start over. Um, you know, this week uh, with our preparation for Houston and, um, and try to have a good week. Barry. Hi, Brian. Uh, how puzzling or perplexing has it been to you that there hasn't been more of a pass rush? I know you've had pressures, but they haven't been converted into high stack numbers or obviously he's made turnovers as last year. Uh, you know, it, it seems puzzling just because Butler was a four sack a year guy consistently in New England, hasn't had one here. Phillips, we know the pass rusher he was in Miami. Ogba, we know his record. Is it puzzling to you that you haven't seen bigger sack numbers overall as a defense? Uh, I mean, we I think we've had this conversation, Barry, on the sacks versus the pressures versus the effect on the quarterback. Um, you know, I think yesterday, you know, there, we had some of an effect on the quarterback. I thought, you know, Josh Allen did a good job of kind of scrambling around and getting the ball off. And there were some some instances where we were on them, didn't get them down. Um, but there was an effect on the quarterback. And there's been some other games where we haven't had as much of an effect on the quarterback. Um, we've got to do a better job. And I think that's always, you know, uh, at the top of the uh, priority list as far as, you know, how do we affect the offense? We want to affect the, the quarterback. Or well, really more, more so the offense, the, the passing game, we want to affect the quarterback. That's always a point of emphasis. And, uh, uh, you know, we need, to do, we need to do a better job there. Uh, but I thought yesterday, well, Josh did a nice job of, of calling some pressures and, uh, you know, getting getting 
um, I don't, off the spot um, in some instances. Um, didn't get them all the way down for sacks, but you know, created some some quicker throws that um, that, that you know, in some instances, were were uh, benefited us. And one one other quick thing, Fuller and Dieter, Brian, any update as to whether you think they'll be able to practice this week? Uh, those guys are still week to week. We won't I don't, we won't see them this week, Barry. Thank you, Cam. Flo, I can ask you about um, the offensive line development. We've asked you kind of a few times throughout the year about that, but when you evaluate some of the young guys and where they are at this season, are you are you happy? Or what, what sort of would describe how you feel about Austin, Robert, some of this first and second year guys who you've had to play a lot? I think they've played well in spurts. They haven't played so well in some other situations, and I think that's kind of the development of a young player. Um, I think Austin at guard's been, um, I think that's been a good transition for him. I think that's the, the, the right spot for him. Um, same thing with Rob Hunt. Um, but it's a young group. They, um, you know, the experience of playing, and, and, you know, with crowd noise yesterday was, uh, was with that type of crowd noise and silent cadence, you know, that, that's something that was a, definitely a learning experience for, for them yesterday. Um, and, you know, I think we, 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 we could have been better um, as far as our execution on, on some of those things. Um, but overall, I think they're all improving. I think they're all uh, making progress. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching them improve more as the season progresses. Hal. Brian, um, hope you can hear me OK. I'm at the airport. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Okay, good. Um, I want to ask you about a sequence late in the game. Um, you were out of timeouts. The outcome was pretty much decided. Buffalo still, rather than, I guess, a traditional thing to do there is kneel down. They scored instead and went for two. Did they, that catch your eye? Did it get the attention of your players that they chose to go that route? No, nah, we got. I mean, look, our job, their job is to score. Our job is is to stop them. So, regardless of score, regardless of time in the game, that's kind of you know my approach, and you know our job is to go out there and stop them. Okay, thanks. All right, we'll take two more, Andy, and then Alan. Go ahead, Andy. Hey, Brian. So you've said several times that Tua is your quarterback. If that's the case, why can't you rule out acquiring another starter? Um, you know, I think when I say two is the quarterback, uh, you know, I don't know how much what more I can say. Um, and that's kind of, you know, the way I've handled this and approached this really for the last few weeks. Um, Alan? Uh, hi, Brian. For record keeping purposes, I was remiss in not asking you uh, with the red one. Was that also a disciplinary issue that he wasn't on the trip? Uh, yes. <laughs>